Across diverse cultures and throughout history, the tower stands as an enduring symbol. Its image, rooted in both the physical and the psychological landscapes of our world, holds a multifaceted power that invites exploration and introspection. As an archetype, the tower embodies the fundamental human impulse to create, to strive, to impose order upon the chaotic vastness of existence. Within the symbolism lies a complex interplay of ambition, vulnerability, and the timeless dance between the conscious and unconscious aspects of ourselves. One of the earliest and most enduring depictions of the tower is found in the biblical story of the Tower of Babel. This structure, reaching audaciously toward the heavens, represents the collective ambition of humanity to achieve unity and transcendence. However, this ambition is met with divine intervention. Languages are fractured and unity is shattered. The tale serves of a cautionary reminder of hubris, the danger of unchecked aspiration that becomes disconnected from the natural order and the inherent limitations of human control. The tower, as a symbol of power and dominion, is woven throughout history. Medieval castles and fortresses, dotted vast landscapes, are silent testaments to an age where military strength and territorial control were paramount. These structures were not only built to withstand physical attacks, but also to project an image of unwavering power designed to intimidate and subdue. It's important to note that this projection of power often hid the fragility and instability that lie at the core of any attempt to maintain control in a world governed by inevitable change. Beyond the physical realm, towers exist as psychological constructs. We all carry within us inner towers, the beliefs, assumptions, and mental models that shape our understanding of the world, of others, and ourselves. These structures can provide a sense of security and stability, allowing us to navigate our lives with a degree of certainty. However, they can also become rigid, outdated, or based on false foundations. When these inner towers collapse, perhaps triggered by a life-altering event or a transformative insight, a period of disorientation or chaos may ensue. Yet as with the fall of a physical tower, this disruption holds potential for profound growth and a rebuilding grounded in deeper self-understanding. The tower's symbolism was notably illuminated by the Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung, who recognized it as a potent archetypal image representing the ego and the conscious mind. The act of tower building mirrors the development of our conscious identity, our sense of self as separate and distinct from the world around us. This process is essential for establishing our individuality and agency. Yet Jung also emphasizes the danger of excessive identification with the ego tower and the corresponding suppression of the vast unconscious realm. He spoke of the importance of integrating unconscious elements into the conscious personality, a process of individuation. This leads to greater wholeness and the lessening of internal conflict. The image of the tower also symbolizes the collective structures and systems we create. Societies, like individuals, construct towers, institutions, belief systems, economic structures, and technological systems that bring order and predictability to our lives. While some of these structures can serve a positive purpose and facilitate cooperation, they also hold a potential for oppression, inflexibility, and disconnection. The tower symbolism is complex and multi-layered. It can represent aspiration, power, protection, and the conscious mind while also embodying hubris, isolation, rigidity, and the limitations inherent in attempting to control the world in constant flux. Whether the tower is a crumbling ruin of a lost civilization or a gleaming skyscraper dominating the landscape, it invites us to examine the structures that shape our inner and outer worlds. Perhaps there are a reason we're drawn to stories and images of fallen towers. Within their decay, we see a reflection of our own mortality and the futility of clinging to permanence. Yet the Fallen Tower can also inspire awe and ignite a spirit of exploration. The Fallen Tower stands as a stark and poignant symbol of impermanence, once a beacon of ambition, a testament to human ingenuity, or an emblem of power. It now exists in a state of ruin. Yet it is precisely in this transformation from the vertical to the horizontal that the Fallen Tower reveals new depth and meaning. Its collapse disrupts the illusion of permanence and forces us to confront the in inescapable fact that all things, no matter how seemingly enduring, will ultimately yield to the forces of time, nature, or human conflict. Nothing endures but change, observed the philosopher Heraclitus. The fallen tower embodies this principle of constant flux. 
it can be a sobering reminder to our own mortality and the fleeting nature of our earthly achievements. This confrontation, while potentially unsettling, carries within it a profound lesson, an invitation to loosen our grip on the illusions of permanence. The fallen tower, however, is not a symbol of despair or the futility of human endeavor. Ruins, paradoxically, hold the seeds of renewal. The image of life springing forth from decay is a reoccurring theme in nature and mythology. Seeds germinate in the fertile soil left behind from a fallen tree. Birds build their nest in the crevices of crumbling walls, and new civilizations often rise from the ashes of old ones. This echoes the hermetic concept of cyclical existence, suggesting that destruction is not an end, but a necessary step in the process of transformation. The fallen tower also speaks to the collapse of the internal structures. Just as physical towers crumble, our internal towers, our beliefs, assumptions, and attachments are also subject to erosion and eventual collapse. These internal collapses can be triggered by life-changing events, transformative experiences, or a growing awareness of the limitations of our current mental models. While disorienting, these turning points are invitations for deep self-examination. When the inner tower falls, we are forced to confront questions of identity, purpose, and our place in the world. Alan Watts reminds us, the only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. Rather than clinging to the ruins of outdated beliefs, can we use the fall as a catalyst to rebuild a, to rebuild a stronger foundation grounded in a deeper understanding of ourselves, our connection to the world, and the rhythms of the natural world? The fallen tower, with its silent grandeur and subtle beauties, stands as a timeless teacher. It speaks of impermanence and the enduring potential for renewal that arises from both external and internal collapse. The fallen tower speaks not only of the grand sweep of history, but also of the intimate landscape of the human heart. Within each of us, our inner towers are carefully constructed, often over a lifetime. They help us make sense of the world, form relationships, and establish a sense of who we are and where we belong. A bedrock belief might guide our ethical compass, a cherished identity might anchor our sense of self-worth, and deeply ingrained habits might offer a familiar comfort zone, even when no longer serving as well. Some beliefs might be based on incomplete information or societal conditioning. Identities can become rigid, preventing us from evolving. Familiar habits can transform into ruts, hindering our ability to adapt to changing circumstances. When the pressure becomes too great, or the profound insight pierces our awareness, these inner towers begin to crack and crumble. The collapse of these internal structures can be a deeply unsettling experience. The world breaks everyone, observed an Ernest Hemingway, and afterwards many are strong at the broken pieces. The breakdown of old structures creates space for new insights, a deeper level of self-awareness, and the possibility of rebuilding on a stronger and more authentic foundation. Rebuilding after an inner collapse requires a willingness to sit amongst the discomfort and embrace the unknown. We must be willing to let go of the life we have planned so that to have the life that is waiting for us, encouraged author Joseph Campbell. This involves self-inquiry, the courage to question and to commit to forging a new path based on a deeper understanding of our true needs, values, and potentials. The new towers we construct may be less rigid, more porous to the changing tides of life, Beliefs can be held with more humility, recognizing the limits of our knowledge. Identities can become more fluid, allowing us to adapt and grow. New patterns of behavior can emerge, aligned with a life guided by conscious choice rather than blind habit. The fallen tower as a symbol of inner transformation reminds us that the collapse is often a precursor to a more integrated and expansive self. By embracing the breakdown as a necessary step, we remain open to the, to the continuous process of becoming more fully ourselves. We learn to build inner structures that honor both our needs for stability and the inevitability of change, creating lives that embody resilience, authenticity, and a deep connection to the ever unfolding present moment. One of the essential first qualities in rebuilding a fallen inner tower is self-inquiry. This involves turning inwardly with curiosity and without judgment and asking questions regarding our beliefs, identity, and patterns. Some of these questions might be, what core beliefs were destabilizing during the collapse, and how might they be revised to better reflect my current understanding and values? Or, what identities have I outgrown, and what unexplored aspects of myself are longing to emerge? Rebuilding after the collapse of an inner tower is not a linear process. There may be setbacks and moments of discouragement along the way. 
The key is to approach this process with patience, curiosity, and a deep trust in your innate capacity for growth and renewal. The fallen inner tower in this light becomes a symbol of transformation, not defeat. It reminds us that within each of us lies a potential to shed outdated structures, embrace the ever-changing nature of our being, and continuously rebuild lives rooted in authenticity, resilience, and a deep knowing that we are capable of meeting life's challenges with increasing wisdom and grace. The image of the pilgrims drawn towards the ruins of the fallen tower hold profound significance. These figures, often solitary, yet connected by a shared purpose, embodied the archetype of the seeker. They represent a deep human longing to find meaning, connection, and wisdom, even amidst the remnants of the past. Their journey is both a physical one and a metaphor for the unending quest of the self-understanding that unfolds over a lifetime. The pilgrim's attraction to the ruins not, is not only merely driven by curiosity or nostalgia. There is a recognition that beneath the rubble of the fallen tower lies something of profound value. Perhaps they are drawn by the forgotten history, seeking clues that might shed light on the patterns that repeat across time. Perhaps they seek a deeper understanding of themselves and the human desire to create order and reach for something beyond the ordinary. Or they may be driven by an intuitive knowing that within the ruins lies the seeds of renewal and transformation. The act of making a pilgrimage, whether to a sacred site or toward the metaphorical ruins of our own inner tower, implies a willingness to step outside the comforts of the familiar. It requires a certain courage to confront the unknown, to embrace the possibilities, that what we might find might challenge our existing beliefs and force us to reevaluate ourselves and our place in the world. Gnostic teachings speak of a hidden knowledge, a divine spark within each individual obscured by the illusions of the material world. The ruins left behind by the fallen tower might hold whispered echoes of the lost wisdom, inviting seekers to look beyond the surface and delve into the deep mysteries of existence. Similarly, hermetic teaching emphasizes the pursuit of ancient knowledge suggesting that within the wisdom of the past lies guidance for navigating the complexities of life. Pilgrims drawn to the ruins might be seeking a blueprint, a forgotten language, or a lost connection to the natural world, all in service of creating a more meaningful and harmonious existence. The journey toward the fallen tower is a testament to the enduring power of hope and the human spirit's yearning for renewal. Even amidst the stark landscape of decay, they embody a belief that something of value can be discovered that within the fallen structures lies the potential for a different way of being. Those who traverse the desolate landscape toward the ruins embody a timeless human yearning, a search for something that transcends the mundane, something that offers meaning, connection, and a deeper understanding of our place within the grand tapestry of existence. Their quest echoes our own internal longing for answers to the enduring questions that have plagued humanity throughout time. Who am I? Why am I here? What is the nature of reality? The symbolism of the fallen tower can trigger profound introspection. When faced with the ruins of once grand structures, we are forced to confront our own mortality and the fleeting nature of earthly achievements. This realization can be disquieting, but it can also catalyze the renewal hunger for a deeper kind of meaning, a longing for a connection to something that endures beyond the transient. By exploring the ruins of the fallen tower, by tracking the patterns of rise and fall that mark civilization, the pilgrims might also be seeking insights into the workings of their own inner worlds. The fallen tower becomes a mirror, reflecting our own potential for growth and collapse and renewal. Their journey reflects a yearning for the connection that transcends the isolation of the ego self. The act of undertaking a pilgrimage often carries a sense of joining something larger than oneself, of connecting to a lineage of seekers who came before and to those who will continue to search after we're gone. This desire for connection and belonging is a fundamental human need, and often it is within the ruins, the shared spaces of loss and vulnerability, that we rediscover the threads that bind us together. Ultimately, the motivation of these pilgrims is our own. Theirs is a journey towards self-knowledge, a search for a sense of place within the vast expanse of existence, and a longing to discover the enduring wisdom that transcends the rise and fall of individual towers. Their quest reminds us that even amidst impermanence, even within the ruins of our own lives, the human spirit reaches for the light, fueled by a deep and unwavering belief in the possibilities of meaning, connection, and renewal. The journey toward the fallen tower becomes a metaphor for our own lifelong exploration of meaning. Like them, we are driven by a longing to understand, to discover what lies beneath the surface of our experiences, and to find a sense of purpose that anchors us amidst the ever-shifting currents of life. 
Their experiences invite us to reflect on our own search and the ways in which we confront the inevitable collapses, whether internal or external, that life throws our way. The act of seeking wisdom within the ruins implies a willingness to embrace complexity. Those seeking do not seek easy answers or tidy explanations. Their journey suggests an understanding that true knowledge is often layered, fragmented, and required careful excavation. Similarly, our own search for meaning may lead us down winding paths, forcing us to grapple with ambiguity and paradox. This willingness to engage with complexity is essential to a fulfilling life, as it deepens our understanding of ourselves and the world we inhabit. The Fallen Tower can also symbolize the collapse of personal narratives, the stories we tell about ourselves and the world around us. When these narratives crumble, we may experience a profound disorientation that parallels the, the pilgrims finding themselves amidst the ruins. Yet those by continuing their journey shows us the values of persistence. In the aftermath of the collapse, when the old way of making meaning no longer seems to fit, we too are called to continue the search for the deeper truths. The seeker's commitment to their quest also reminds us of the, transform of the transformative power of questioning. The ruins of the tower likely spark numerous questions. Who built it? What was its purpose? What caused its downfall? Engaging in this kind of inquiry mirrors our own process of questioning long-held beliefs, assumptions, and identities. This willingness to question rather than clinging to the familiar is essential for inner growth and uncovering a more authentic understanding of ourselves. The fallen tower with its dark beauty and poignant symbolism stands as the timeless reminder of both ending and enduring possibility of renewal. While the collapse of structures, both external and internal, can be destabilizing, it is within these spaces of breakdown that we found the opportunity to reevaluate, reimagine, and rebuild. The fallen tower invites us to embrace the cyclical nature of existence, to acknowledge the impermanence of all things, structures, beliefs, and even our own sense of self. This acceptance is not a surrender, but a liberation that allows us to approach life with greater accessibility and a willingness to shed what no longer serves us. What the caterpillar calls the end, the rest of the world calls a butterfly, observed the philosopher Lao Tzu. The pilgrim's search for knowledge and connection amidst the ruins reflects our own deep-seated yearning for belonging and a sense of place within the vast expanse of existence. It speaks to the power of community and the importance of drawing strength from those who share our journey in moments of both triumph and uncertainty. Ultimately, this story of the fallen tower and the, and the seekers offers a timeless message of hope. It reminds us that within each of us lies the potential to rise from the ashes of our own collapses, to transform our losses into a catalyst for growth, and to discover whatever deepening understanding of what it means to be truly alive. May we, like the pilgrims, be fueled by the unwavering belief in renewal, embracing the challenges that shape our lives with courage, compassion, and an unwavering commitment to create a more beautiful, more resilient world for ourselves and for the generations to come.